What is that? He's so sad. This looks really bad. Is he dead? Still alive. What's good, guys? Good guy Gastly here with more Detective Pikachu. And right now, we're trying to figure out if Walls is innocent, if he's the one responsible for Pokemon getting hurt at the lake and the fog. Personally, I don't even know what Pokemon could do fog. Someone in the last video said that it could be Volcarona. Maybe it is. I don't know. Those eyes do not look like Volcarona to me, though. So we'll see. Um, let's actually, though, we're going to go into town and we're going to try to do some uh, investigative work. I, I imagine this is the path. This is probably the path that they want us to take, but we have to go do some research and uh, talk to some of the local natives, which is also a band um, that uh, I, someone I know likes. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to find out about this secret path, where it could possibly be. We could ask the duck, did you come from the lake, ducklet? Yeah, how'd you get here? I know you could probably fly. Um, it probably, oh, just swam. Oh, duh, it can swim. Hmm, okay. Yeah, you're totally right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dumb. All right, how about the fog situation? Let me talk about that. I wonder what does Ducklet's injury have anything to do with the case? Um, yes, it should, right? I mean, it got hurt by something. It doesn't remember how it got hurt. That's kind of strange. I'm very. You, if you get hurt, usually you're like, oh, dude, I got hurt, and I know exactly how. But uh, maybe not. Uh, I wonder what these these marks mean. Do they mean anything? I don't know. Uh, let's talk to this guy. He looks new. Don't think I've seen you before. Where are you from? Uh, I'm not gonna answer that. I'm just gonna ask you about the seer path. <laughs> Can't say I've heard of it. Let's ask the others. Do you know anything about the fog situation? Um, I guess the younger townspeople don't really have a reason to go to the lake. Weird. Why would people... You'd think the younger people would be the ones who did go to the lake. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I can ask this, uh, Timber. Timber, do you know anything about a secret path? Do you ever, do you ever go out of your, uh, predetermined path with your, with your, with your box? You have to check it out. The wood there is good for training. This just thing is good wood for training. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Uh, about the fog situation. Okay, the high fog smells too. Okay. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you old man. You look like you sit here and you observe a lot of things. What was it about? Oh, he wait. He said. I know I've heard that somewhere. He's an old man. He's definitely heard about it. By the way, guys, you guys have been asking about uh, this hoodie that I'm wearing right now, the Ahegao hoodie. And it, uh, I got it from an app on my phone called Wish. And uh, I got it for really cheap. It was like 12 bucks, which I kind of don't really agree with because if you think about it, basically you're just kind of like supporting child labor, which is really not a good thing. But uh, yeah. Oh, monster with huge eyes. Why of you plan on heading up to the lake? Okay, there's a monster with huge eyes. We did see a monster with huge eyes. So, anyways, yeah. So, I got on a wish. It was only like 12 bucks for it. It took a while to get here. Like I said, order like two sizes up. If you're an extra large, order... Uh, or if you're a large, maybe order an extra large or an extra extra large. Like I said, I'm, I'm a large and I wish I would have ordered an extra extra large. What's wrong? Hmm, no one living in something covered by thick fog. It's not like the weather's bad or anything, so what could it be the cause? Something strange is happening. We better check it out. Yes, we better check it out. But we need, we need to figure out how to get there. Hmm. Come on, Azumarill, you gotta know. You gotta know. You gotta know something. Don't think it's underwater. Humans can't really stand underwater that long. Okay, so it's not that. You were attacked by something at the lake. If you don't remember, that's fine. I find you a scary thing. Don't worry, we'll get the responsible. It's got some PTSD. Okay. Um. Man. I don't know. One of my favorite reviews for this Ahegao uh, hoodie was that this mom was like, my my daughter loves anime, so she's going to love this hoodie. And it was like, oh, she doesn't know that this is not just anime. It's something else. Uh, it's got some kind of design, blah, blah, blah. We've already looked at this. Okay, so basically we've discovered nothing here, right? I mean, does this dude know anything? Like, he's... Oh, I remember going through that path as a kid. We used to have a lake festival here back in the day. We'd all go to the lake through the secret path to participate. This was way before we built a bridge, of course. Yes, the festival at the lake. When the day of the festival came around, the grown-ups would pass out scrolls to all the kids. Those scrolls would have riddles on them that would help them get through the path. You wouldn't happen to have one of... Yeah, do you just have one of these scrolls when you were a child? No, sorry, this is from way back when I was a kid, but the old man who used to hand out the scrolls might still have some lying around. Then again, he might not even remember any of this. A scroll, huh? Well, it's the only lead we've got. Let's go ask the old man in town. Okay, so we do know about the scroll now. And we do know who the old man is. He had said that he knew about it, but he didn't remember. So now maybe we can jog his memory if we just bring up the scrolls. What's up, old man? What's up, Mr. Roshi? 
uh, about the scroll. The chief of timber transport told us you might have a scroll that had information about this secret path. The scrolls. Of course, now I remember. I used to hand them out to the children when they were about to have our lake festival. They were so excited. They would always call the old road to the lake the secret path. Okay, so we found it. You think you could let us see the scroll? You're a bit old, but you do but you want to take on the little trial, of course. So this island has an island trial, guys. Wow. This is amazing. We found this is a little little slice of Alola. Uh right here. Next to Rhyme City. Thank you very much. Okay. Alright, so about the scroll, thank you for giving us the scroll. Don't mention it. Our island festival is an important part of our little island, just like in Alola. Okay. Uh, Alright, we got the scroll. Let's have a look. Let's look at this scroll. What does it say? There are three pictures and then some sort of instructions written on it. Is this the clue to the secret path? Huh. I imagine so. But first we need to actually find the secret path. Oh, sorry. I forgot about that bit. Oh, he knows. Okay. Listen closely now. The two scales will guide you to the secret path. Remember that. The two scales. Ho ho ho! If I told you that, it wouldn't be a challenge, now would it? Finding the path is the first step. Well, good luck out there. I guess we don't have a choice. We'll have to figure out what the two scales means and find the path for ourselves. Two scales. Let me ask you about the two scales, my friend. No, 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 not that. No, 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 no. no. I asked you about two scales. The other key to finding the secret path. You're barking up the wrong tree, friend. I've never even heard of that. Okay. We gotta go talk to that uh, the uh, head of the timber thing. I'll go talk to Pikachu, I guess. A secret path the old man mentioned would have to be on this island somewhere. Duh! Let me know if you find anything that might be a clue. Let's give it a try. Say something to me. Uh huh. Okay. Interesting. Um. What about this, Pikachu? Can we deal? Can we deal with this? This monument. What's up, Tim? Something catching your eye? Look at this, Pikachu. The design has been carved into monument. Doesn't it look like a scale? Yes, it does, actually. Now that you mention it, oh, of course, the number of scales carved into the monument is the clue we're looking for. The entrance to the secret path has two scales, and this monument has three scales, so it's not the right one. There must be a monument in other places. Let's have a look. Cool. I think I do know where that's at. I think it was broken down, though. I think it fell down. But we can ask uh, this dude again. He'd probably, if anyone would know, it'd be him. The monument had scale designs carved into it. Thanks. It's all coming back to me now. Okay, that did not help me. But I think I know where this one is. <sighs> but yeah, guys. So you go to the Wish. It has really cool anime T-shirts. I actually have a few more shirts coming in. You can use a code for your first purchase and get rid of the shipping, which can be expensive because it's coming from China. Um, but I got like five pieces of clothing for 40 bucks. Kind of a steal, but like I said, you're skipping the middle ground, you're skipping the retailer. So you're basically perpetuating child labor. So if, you, if you're if you okay with that on your conscience, if you're okay with that, then I say go for it. Okay, it's got to be here. This is where the monument was. Here, Pikachu, it's here. There are a lot of rocks kicking around here. Do you think it could have been a statue? It wouldn't surprise me, which means it may have been scale, some scales carved into it. Okay, Tim, have a look here. Two scales. No doubt about it, then. This is the entrance to the secret path. Hey, Tim, you found the secret path. You gotta take me with you. Of course, the entrance is just beyond here. Come on. Cool. Alright, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's go down the secret path and see what we can find. I'm so excited. Oh. Whoa. This looks so cool. There's a Feebass. You see it? So this is the secret path. It looks really co convoluted. Hmm, if we can figure out what the scroll's saying, we'll be able to follow the path without getting lost, right? Let's have a look at the scroll for starters. Okay, a half circle in the sky. This must mean a half moon. Okay, this must mean a full moon. Maybe the shape of the moon is some sort of clue. Hmm. How about this one? It's a, a black circle as if there's a hole in the sky. Now, what would this mean? Come on, that's common sense. No moon in the sky. So in other words, a new moon. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Hmm, okay. The three moons, but there's something else that I've been wondering about. Yeah, each picture of the moon has a different color too. Green, purple, and blue. Green, pink, and blue. Oh, green, pink, and blue. Excuse me. These colors must be a clue too. Okay. You're absolutely right. If you haven't checked everything here, it's important not to overlook everything. I, oh, what about down here? What's this say? The night of the full moon is the beginning. Pass through the shadow of darkness, and when thou witness the witness the 
witnesseth the split moon, the lake shall bestow its blessing. What in the world is right? Sounds like some kind of riddle. Dang, that, that sounds uh, pretty hard, actually. Something's written here. Let's see. If thou wisheth to reach the lake, follow the light of the moon and the face and face the three challenges. What do you think that means? Follow the light of the moon, huh? If that's not an important clue, my name isn't Pikachu. Okay. So follow the light of the moon. And then this one was really quick. The night of the full moon is beginning. Pass through the shadow of darkness. Blah, 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 blah. I think this one's more important up here. Follow the light of the moon. Okay. I think that's all we're going to glean from just looking at the scroll. We still need more information. There might be clues along the secret path as well, like those Pokemon statues in front of each path. I bet they're important. Good point. Well, then let's go have a look at those statues. Okay. So we got to look at these statues. We're going to add these to the uh, the case list. Um, this guy apparently is a Pokemon Ranger and he thinks he knows everything. So I'm just going to kind of give him the benefit of the doubt and say, yeah, maybe you do know everything. And maybe you're really, really cool. I don't know. Which patch of the scroll show? Okay. This statue is Tropius. Its green leaves are really well made. Yeah, it's almost as if someone just shrank a Tropius and put it here. Hmm. Okay. What about here? Is it broken? What is that? He's so sad. This looks really bad. Is he dead? He's still alive, right? So it's you again. Right. What? Pull yourself together, buddy. This happens to you all the time. You need to be more careful. What is happening to this thing? There. All better. But it still doesn't look so good. No. <laughs> Bee bass just look like that. It's their natural state. <laughs> they just are so... ugly as I suppose it looks healthy enough. It's dangerous out there with all this fog, so you should really stay put. <laughs> so funny that Feebas turns into like the most beautiful Pokemon. It seems to be anxious about something. Right. I remember playing like Ruby and Sapphire and being so excited to get a freaking Milotic. I like I spent forever trying to get a Milotic. What? The lake's in trouble and you need to get back, but what if you get hurt again? Oh I know Feebas. We're heading to the lake too. Why don't you come with us? About the fog situation. You've been living in the lake a long time, but you've never seen anything like this before. Even the Pokemon that live here don't know what's causing the fog, huh? How about your wounds? Are your wounds okay? You got you need help, man? Okay, he doesn't know how he got hurt. Something something threw him. Oh my goodness. Something is very rude in here. Do you know anything about the Pokemon statues around here? It says they look like they were modeled after Pokemon that live on the island, but it doesn't know what they have to do with the scroll. Okay. Hmm, okay. Fine with me. It's the Pokemon statue. It's hard. It's all busted up with some blue coloring left on it. Okay, so this was a Pokemon that might have been blue. And then this is a Stunfist. The Stunfist, you'll find a lot of them near water. They'll give you a jolt of electricity if you step on one, so be careful. Stunfisk is so weird. I don't think I've ever used Stunfisk in any game I've ever played. There may be some around here. Be careful, Pikachu. Just who do you think you're talking to? You should be the one keeping an eye out. Okay. Rude, but whatever. I like him totally. Okay, so we have a Stunfisk. Let's talk to Pikachu about it. I don't know what he's trying to tell me. We've checked all the statues in this area. Let's try and figure out that riddle on the scroll. Oh, you want to check it out? You want to try doing that right now? Huh. We've checked all three statues. Right. Tell me, does the scroll mean anything to you? I don't really think so, actually. Like, which patch of the scroll show? The three colors on the scroll, the three moons drawn on the scroll, the mysterious writing on the scroll. The statues are the same color as the real Pokemon. That seems true. But that doesn't tell me anything. This scroll is so weird. And so it gives you multiple things and it's just like, hmm, it's been colored green, blue coloring. You don't know what that is. A true, a statue depicting sunfit is painted brown. Oh, this was probably a, uh, the ducklet. He got all ducked out. It's painted brown. Sunfit is brown, but those colors don't match the, uh,
Oh, what if it's this one? I don't think it's that one. The statues aren't always the same size, that's for sure. This is not it. Think that's right? No. You're right, it's not it. No, that's not right. Man, I, I don't know actually. I feel like we don't we don't uh you should check your case list. Pikachu, you're not helping, okay? You're just you're just yelling at me right now and it's making me upset. I'm I'm freaking out. Alright, let's go to three colors. And they're not the same size. Do you think nope, that's, right? that's not it. You're making me feel bad, Pikachu. No, that's not right. Let's get out of here. Let's. I feel like we gotta talk to somebody. You should check your case list. This is the hardest thing we've done in this game. Everything else was, uh... Besides making the color orange, that was pretty hard, too. Let's talk to, um... Hmm. Which path do we take? Let's talk to him. About Tropius. Trop usually found in warmer regions. There's one that always comes to Wild's Garden to eat too. Hmm. Its wings are green. Yes. Brown color to hide in mud. Okay. Okay, so... We have that. Hmm. About the Pokemon statues. All right, each path has a Pokemon statue in front of it. There are some Pokemon never seen before. Two, do you know about the Milo? Yeah, I've got this. If there's anything you need to know, just ask. Okay. I kind of am curious. That's all they're giving us, really. So it's almost like a guessing game. Like, I don't even know where this is taking us. Like, honestly. You checked all three statues. Tell me, does the scroll mean anything to you? Uh, yeah. At this point, it does. Let's do this. The three colors on the scroll mean something to me. And the statues aren't really the same size. Yeah. This is it. Okay, I got it. Of course. The colors. Of course. One of the pictures that's on the scroll has a background the same color as a statue. Yes. So let's take the path of the statue that has the same color as on the scroll. Which is According to the scroll, there are three trunks. The green. The question is, which color do we choose? The scroll should have clues for us. So go ahead and check in your case list. Okay. What's the order of the three colors? Okay. So blue is in the middle. Green is on the right. And pink is on this side. Wait, what? Oh, am I an idiot? I just need to line up the colors, like... Carefully and then go from there. Go ahead and check your Wait. case list. Is it really just trying to be that simple? Green, blue, like as if I don't know colors? What? Something seems a little off. Hmm. You need to scroll carefully and then go from there. Go ahead and check your case list. Which path does the scroll show? I don't understand what it's trying to say to me. Like, I'm really actually confused right now. Let's go to the scroll really quick. A scroll, blah, blah, blah. A broken monument. None of this stuff matters. I don't know, dude. It's gonna be a lot of cuts on this episode because I am completely confused by all of this. This is all very strange to me. Um, text on the bottom: the three colors, green, pink, and blue. Yes. Full moon, half moon, new moon. Okay. Thou wishes the reaches of the lake, follow the light of the moon, and face the three challenges. Follow the light of the moon. Dude, this is so difficult. Which path does the scroll show? What if we switch these around? Okay, somehow that works. Right. We put the moons in the same order as on the scroll. You'll get full moon, new moon, and half moon. And their background colors are green, blue, Dude, I actually have no idea what's happening. Like, I don't get this one. Now and I feel really dumb because I'm just guessing. 
We'll start with green. Yes. Does that make sense to you? That's fine, Pikachu. That's great. We'll totally start with green. Which is over there. Alright. Tropius is a green one. That's true. That means we take the path with Tropius' statue. Tropius, that's how they say it. Not Tropius. Although I like Tropius, man. Tropius makes it. Huh. Okay. I'm learning it's so many things. Oh, wow. Feebas, that was really cool. Good job. All right, let's go down this path then. Uh, I think we're going to cut this episode there. It was basically just an episode of me not figuring out anything. I just guessed. I just kind of like, you know, this one didn't work, so maybe this one. So uh, I'm sorry about that, but that's basically what just happened there. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of me just randomly guessing things. Uh, I, I think I had fun doing it. Uh, Pikachu, that was the hardest riddle I've ever had to solve in probably my entire life. Threw that into a DD d campaign and I would have definitely died. Um, but yes, I appreciate you guys watching. Have yourselves a good day. And until the next one, I'm Guy Gasly and that is GG.